Hello, in today's video I'm doing something slightly different. Um, for the past two and a half years I have been working extremely hard, I've put in a lot of effort, a lot of time, a lot of money and finally I've managed to get to 1000 subscribers. And if it wasn't for you out there um, I wouldn't have made that. So thank you so much for your support, it really means a lot to me. And to say thank you this video is going to be clips of my favourite, most memorable part over the last two and a half years. The only issue with this competition is if you can see behind me, that's a shoreline and I am in the middle of the lake. Um, okay, I don't know if you can see, but I think it's around that there. Um, it's a lovely big rock. Um, it's pointing out into that direction, so you've got a bit of leading line um, to the, the mountains in the background and we've got some beautiful light at the top there. So, I've framed up my composition now and I'm quite happy with that. But I'm trying to stay as still as I can and then let the, the lake calm down um, so I can get a nice clear shot into the water and get some beautiful still reflections. Well, there's a bit of light just coming on the background. I don't think it's going to be enough to fill in the mountain. It's gone. It's about getting in the right place, being ready, and then just waiting for the right moment. The sun's now on me, I can see it, but it's not on the background. Ah. Okay, the light is coming behind me now and it's lighting up those mountains, so I'm going to take the shot now. <laughs> yes! I got it, it's a beauty. Ooh. Somebody's left their glasses. last year and also last week which I'll show earlier on on this video and there's so much less water this time than it was both last year and last week so the composition has changed quite a lot the water is exposing a lot of the rocks and the leaves have fallen down a lot more so there's a lot more um, orangey colours in this photo where it's a bit more yellowy last year so be prepared and remember, above all, safety is the most important. Hello and welcome to my vlog. Today I'm in Scotland and I'm photographing Loch Druim Sardellan. I apologise for the uh, pronunciation. Um, this is a beautiful little loch. Um, you've got Sullivan in the background. Uh, there's a mountain, I don't know if you can see it somewhere. I think it's just up there. Um, and we've got this nice lock in the foreground with some trees, there's some, there's some clump of pine trees in the background, it's a really stunning location. So I came here to get sunrise, but it's absolutely pouring down. It's been on and off for the last hour or so. It's slowly, it's stopping raining just about now, so um, the rain is coming from in, well, behind you, going towards the mountains in the background so there's a big gap in the clouds up ahead and hopefully we might get some uh, <laughs> enough dry weather to take the, the rain cover off the camera. These are the conditions you get in landscape photography. If it was sunny it wouldn't be fun and the light wouldn't be as good as this. Not that it's good at the moment, but there's really nice clouds in the background. So as soon as it gets a bit lighter, um, as soon as it's drier, I'll take the, the cover off the camera and I'm hoping we're going to get some good shots because there's a really nice clouds and there's a nice gap in this cloud. So I'm optimistic we'll get a good photo in a minute. Oh, it's starting to rain again. <sighs> Every time I've come up here, the light has been absolutely miserable.
you can't already tell, it's starting to rain now. Um, I'm getting soaking wet. I've packed the camera gear away, so it's time to go back. It's not going to clear up again for a bit. Ugh, Scotland. I did really like that um, broken tree that I looked at earlier but it was difficult to get a photograph so what I've done is I've just worked the location and I've found a good composition from outside of the trees and what I've done is I've put that right in the two-thirds um, at the foreground and I've got these lovely larch trees either side of it and a bit of space where the path is going down um, alongside of it and with the mist in the background and the fog it's just it really isolates those two and it makes it very apocalyptic I think so it's it should make a nice quite ethereal image see that's that's the biggest audience I've got on YouTube so far Hello. Get it off. Oops. As you can see, these are the cows. Hello. They're so cute. Too much tongue. Oi. Don't eat my tongue. Get oi. Ugh. <laughs> That's gross. Look at this. This was licking my foot. Have a look at this. Come on in. Hello. Oh, you want to scratch. Oh, you want to scratch. You want to scratch. Oh. Oh, you want to scratch. I think they like the salt or shoes from when I was in the sea. Hello. Come on. Off. Get off. Come on, I want to go fast now. Excuse me. Excuse me. You speak cow. They won't let me out at the moment, so I need to ask them to move. I've been searching around for a bit now and this is what I've been looking for. We've got this, I suppose it's just a little stream coming here. We've got the river going all off down there. So we've got a few leading lines from this water and the river meanders off there and you've got the peak of Cribgoch just in cloud over there. Snowden is to the right of it, but unfortunately that's completely in cloud at the moment. It's still very dark, uh, the sun hasn't come up yet, so it will be any minute. So we may get some light on the mountains in the background, but I might get a really steely blue image at the moment because it's, the light is very blue, and especially if it's a long exposure, I can capture some of the, the clouds moving across the mountains. I've walked to the end of the beach now and there's this nice little boat here. It's, it's a fiberglass one, unfortunately it'd be better if it was wooden, but it's uh, still very photogenic. Um, it's completely sank and there's some lovely sand patterns all around it and it's mostly covered in water. So um, I've taken one or two photographs in portrait and landscape um, using these lovely mountains of Albania in the background. Um, I think it worked best with the big stopper on these ones. Um, 
just to try and blur this water out and you can see the, the sand patterns underneath better um, and it does make it a bit more ethereal so I'll just show you those now I don't know if I'll turn them to black and white um, they do look very steely blue at the moment so we can either make it blue or black and white right we've just come up to a T-junction and we can go either way we've got long and um, hard no long and easy um, and short and steep so I think we're going to go for the long and long and easy one today This tree really does look beautiful. Um, I've walked around it and see what sort of compositions I can get. It's a bit cluttered in the background from this sort of angle. So the angle that I do like is right at the front. So coming down here, you can see you've got the tree facing that way and you've also got a mirrored tree that side, which has also fallen down. And the light is just coming through that side. So this bit's in dark, that bit's light, and it looks like this, um, it's a lot brighter over there, so it looks like the sun's coming through and it looks really beautiful. So I've set it at F11. I'm using the polarising filter to cut the glare off the water and to add some colour to the moss because it's very damp. And then that should give a really nice, beautiful, verdant green colours all in the background. So for the sharp-eyed people, you might have noticed in that last clip, um, I had a little bug that landed on my head and um, took a big chunk of bite out the top of my head and uh, that really hurt. It was there, probably still there now and that was a week ago. So I have said it before and I'll say it again, wildflower photography can be extremely dangerous. So when out photographing wildflowers, always take precautions and remember that safety is very important. So for my next photograph, I've found this lovely clump of white flowers next to me. And what I want to do is try and get it really close and get a picture of one flower, which is perfectly in focus. And then all the other flowers and foliage behind it really blurred. So thank you so much for watching. I really do hope you've enjoyed that. Um, it's just a little thank you. And I really, really do appreciate your support and as I said earlier, if it wasn't for you subscribing to my channel then I wouldn't have made a thousand scripts up there. I wouldn't have had a thousand subscribers so thank you so much for that, I really do appreciate it. If it wasn't for you then I would have never have got this far and a thousand subscribers is phenomenal. Um, I really didn't think I was going to make that many but I have and it's all down to you, so thank you so much, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.